Hi there. My name is Kenzie and I'm offering you a restorative yoga practice today. In fact, I'm offering you a bound angle um, yoga nidra practice. It's a little shorter than usual, but I wanted to give those folks with a lot of yoga props an opportunity to see how the bound angle is set up and how it can be used as a standalone relaxation practice. So you'll notice I've got lots of props today um, and don't worry, you can still use whatever you've got at home, but I wanted to give some folks um, an idea of what we could do with these bolsters and some of these more traditional yoga blocks. I've got two bolsters, but again, these could be rolled up sleeping bags. They could be couch cushions or something with some firmness and some size. Um, I've got a couple regular bed pillows. I've got two hard foamy blocks, um, which are quite common in the yoga world, and then one of those cloth covered or foam chip blocks. And then I've got three folded blankets. So what's lucky for you is you can press pause and then go and gather things of a similar equivalency. These blocks could be small cushions instead. Um, this bottom one could be a folded blanket. Know that these blankets could be blankets, they could be Pill, uh, smaller pillows for some in some cases even um, large beach towels uh, so just feel uh, even though you might not have all of these props I know you can kind of work with what you've got in your own home yeah so we will begin so what I'm gonna suggest is that we ooh, <laughs> let the bolster roll away that we bring one bolster across the top of our mat like so, so it's at the top of the mat. And then the other bolster is gonna make a little T, so it's making a little T, it's up on this angle. If it's really squishy, sometimes we wanna wedge something under there, but for most of us, it should be okay. From here, I'm sitting uh, my foam chip or cloth covered block right at the base of the bolster, but again, this could be a small pillow, a folded blanket. I've got these, um, they're gonna be right here to support my arms. Again, they could be blankets or pillows. And then I've got extra support here that feels soft and cozy. So yeah, you might not need all of this. Maybe one for the head. And you'll notice I'm sitting on the cloth covered or foam chip block. That's to elevate my hips a little bit. So when I lean myself onto these bolsters, it doesn't feel like a back bend. It feels like a nice supported pose. And then we've got a few options for our legs. So I will lean back soon to show you how the top part is set up, but I do want you to know your options for the leg positions. So there's a very simple one where we place one or two pillows right under the knees, um, and that allows the low back to feel nice and comfortable and long. The more traditional Baddha Konasana bound angle would be to bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees roll out to the sides. And because in restorative, we want to avoid um, too much feeling of stretch. We want that nice openness before stretch. Uh, we would wedge those pillows right in close so that the inner thighs are just feeling open. From here, I'm using the support of my arms to lower myself down. Yeah, noticing if that blanket feels good to support my head and then noticing where those arms want to be so as you might notice if the arms are just hanging that might be okay but it might feel too open in the chest so this is where maybe the support of those blocks um, or even the blankets could come in handy if you need more even just feeling the softness of those blankets um, can be supportive here yeah but once you're in the pose, you can notice if you're comfortable. And this is where we could adjust. You know, maybe those arms need to be higher. Uh, maybe the fingers or hands need to be tucked into the low back. That could work. Maybe those feet need to be closer together. Maybe the heels closer to the buttocks. Maybe not. So your pose might look very different, and that's okay. Yeah. So... A lovely way to notice if you're truly comfortable is to close your eyes and feel into this pose from the inside out. And notice 
notice if your body feels balanced from side to side. If there's any part of the body that is starting to feel stretched, can we mellow that out by providing more support? Alternately, if there's a part of the body that feels quite compressed and that maybe we do want to offer a little more openness, that's fine too. And please know you can change position at any time. Your comfort matters most of all. All right, so as much as possible, we'll keep our eyes closed. We'll breathe through our nose if we can. And beginning to establish that relaxation breath pattern. Feeling the abdomen expand with the inhale. Maybe the whole body softens and settles with the exhale. Softer, deeper inhale. And softer, slower exhale. Feeling the in-breath getting deeper and softer. And the out-breath softer and slower. Here we are now. If it suits you, you might bring a hand to rest to the belly and a hand to rest to the chest, or even imagine doing so. Offer yourself a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. Slowly releasing your hands and again, making sure you're comfortable. And feeling that deepening inhale. Lengthening exhale with every breath. And now we will begin our yoga nidra body scan. I will mention different parts of the body and I invite you to simply send your awareness there. You might even repeat the name of the part silently 
to yourself. And it's okay if your mind wanders, simply come back to the sound of my voice whenever you can. Starting with the right hand thumb. Right hand thumb. First finger. Second finger. Third finger. Fourth finger. Palm of the hand. Back of the hand. Wrist. Elbow, shoulder, armpit, side, waist, knee, ankle, heel, Top of the foot, sole of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. the whole right side, the whole right side. Left hand thumb, first finger, second finger, Third finger, fourth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, elbow, shoulder, armpit. Side, waist, hip, knee, ankle, top of the foot, sole of the foot, left big toe, Second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. The whole left side, the whole left side. Top of the right foot, top of the left foot, both together. Right shin, left shin, both together. Front of the right thigh, front of the left thigh, both together. Right groin, left groin, both together. 
right side abdomen, left side abdomen, both together, right side chest, left side chest. both together, right collarbone, left collarbone, both together, front of the right arm, front of the left arm, both together, palm of the right hand, palm of the left hand, both together. The front of the neck, Lower jaw, chin, bottom lip, top lip, both together. Right nostril, left nostril, both together. Right cheek, left cheek, both together. Right eye, left eye, both together. Right ear, left ear, both together. Right temple, left temple, both together. The forehead. the crown of the head, the whole front of the body, the whole front of the body, back of the head, the back of the neck, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, both together, back of the right arm, back of the left arm, both together, back of the right hand, back of the left hand, both together. the whole right side of the back, the whole left side of the back, both together.
and the right buttock, the left buttock, both together. Back of the right thigh, back of the left thigh, both together. Right calf, left calf, both together. Right heel, left heel, both together. Right sole, left sole, both together. the whole back of the body. The whole back of the body. The whole right side of the body. The whole left side of the body, both sides together, the whole right side, the whole left side, both sides together. the whole front of the body, the whole back of the body, both sides together. The whole front The whole back, both sides together. And the whole right side, the whole left side, the whole front of the body, the whole back of the body, and the whole body together. The whole body together. whole body together. whole body together. Soft, deep 
deep inhale. Softer, slower exhale. right side. And the whole left side. Both sides together. And the whole front of the body, and the whole back of the body, both sides together. whole right side, the whole left side, and the whole front of the body, and the whole back of the body. the whole body together. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last.
if it suits you, perhaps bring a hand to rest to the belly and one to rest to the chest. Feeling the weight and warmth of your own giving hand. And once more, offer yourself a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. perhaps releasing those hands and asking yourself if you are ready to move on with your day. And if you're not, please feel free to stay here for as long as you are comfortable. This is where I will leave you, but please know that um, when you are ready to move, you can start slow. You might eventually guide those knees together. You might eventually roll over onto your side and then push the floor away to come upright. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions or concerns, always feel free to reach out to us at the Everyday Counts program. Bye for now.